How's it going? This is a complete guide on how to start a serious pearl jewelry business. We are going to go over what kind of pearls you should get and what type of jewelry you should make. I'm going to show you how to make a pearl jewelry without any experience or fancy tools. We are going to talk about where you can find the materials and other important stuff. We are also going to talk about the best place to sell your pearl jewelry online and a lot more. So, without wasting any time, let's dive into it. Pearls have been around for decades. People have made and continue to make money from them. This is a niche business and those are secret information that no seller will ever reveal. First, let me explain where to find pearls. Etsy is the best place to buy pearls online and jewelry fair are the best place to buy them offline. The cons of buying them at the gem show is that the seller will usually try to sell you an entire bag and will charge you more if you pick their pearls. If you can buy an entire bag, you can bargain and get a wholesale price. But when you're just starting, simply get them from Etsy. I suggest making pendant first instead of rings because rings need different sizes and earrings need too much in pearls. Tahitian pearls, Edison and Baroque pearls are the best type of pearls to make your pendants. Now let's source some pearls together. Start searching for Tahitian pearls on Etsy and look for off-round pearls. They are much more affordable than rounded pearls. Go for pearls with vivid colors like greens or blues. Select the option for half drilling and be sure you select the right drilling size. To find the correct size to drill, we need to figure out the setting that will be used for setting your pearls. Still on Etsy, look for pearls setting made of 9 to 5 silver. In my experience, simple designs sell better, but unique designs provide authenticity to your jewelry. Try to get a little bit of both. The description normally has a drilling size instruction or you can just ask the seller what size the pearls has to be drilled to use these settings. By the way, if you are looking for unique settings, I will leave a link in the descriptions. To attach your pearls to your setting, you will need epoxy glue. Any brand will do the job. Once you've collected all the materials, now let's start to make some jewelry. The first step is to make sure that there is no dust inside the pearls. Then take your setting and check that it fits perfectly in the pearls. If the tip is too long, simply clip it down. Then begin to mix the glue and put a small bit to the tip of the setting. Attach the pearl and leave it overnight. Now you have perfected making your pearl jewelry. You may begin taking pictures. Quality images are essential for success when selling jewelry online as they show your professionalism in your work and help create your brand. Buyers often ask for an image of the pearl in its natural state taken in direct sunlight. A photo showing all the dimension as well as a picture of a person wearing the product so customer can imagine how it looks when they are wearing it. If possible, add a photo with a white background so that you can sell it on Amazon too. You may pay someone on Fiverr to edit it for you or you can use Photoshop which I will discuss in a future video. Okay, now let's talk about the best place to sell your jewelry. A common mistake that I see beginners make is to create a website first. Unless you are already well known, you will most likely need to pay for ads to get visitors to your website. Your website, your social media, your pictures and design must be appealing and on point in order to convert sales. When you first start out, the best place to start is Etsy. But selling jewelry on Etsy is oversaturated and you will be competing with other sellers who have been selling there for a while and usually have a huge inventory. Selling just on Etsy in 2024 is not enough. So I will also recommend that you start create your store on the specific site right away. Platforms like Pushmark, Mercury and whatnot. 
Why those platforms? Is because as a Chinese vendor myself, we do not have selling access to those platforms. So there will be less competition and those platforms will keep growing in the future. Please keep in mind that building a pearl jewelry business or like any business in general, take a lot of hard work faith and patience to generate sales you must have a decent inventory in your store when you have a limited budget start with what you can afford rather than purchasing expensive material such as gold right away you should aim for growing your inventory based on your budget i started getting weekly sales only after reaching 500 listings and just to show you how fierce the competition is. Selling on platform is competitive in both price and inventory. You will never fail if you have a large amount of listing along with engaging photos and if possible, attractive designs. So think it as a long-term investment. Take your time developing what you're doing. And if you're truly passionate about building a business, the money will come sooner or later. I'd like to add that selling pearl jewelry or jewelry in general is the slowest way to generate income. In my next video, I'll go over another and easier way to build your pearl business without even making or selling jewelry. So subscribe to my channel and click the notification button to not miss out on this opportunity. I'll catch you guys in the next video.